Respiration is the overall exchange of gases among the atmosphere, the blood, and the cells. Respiration in land vertebrates, including as humans, consists of four phases. Breathing, external respiration, internal respiration, and cellular respiration. Breathing is the physical action of taking oxygen into and releasing carbon dioxide out of the lungs. These gases must be transported by the circulatory system and exchanged in cells. It is considered as the first step in respiration. Breathing occurs due to air pressure changes between the lungs and the atmosphere. It has two phases. One, inspiration or inhalation, and two, expiration or exhalation. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts and lifts the rib cage up and outward. As a result, the chest expands, allowing more room for air. Air then rushes in and fills the lungs. On the other hand, during exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes, resulting to the space inside the chest to decrease while the pressure within the chest cavity increases. The lungs then become smaller, forcing air out of the lungs. At the end of the lungs are hundreds of round air sacs called the alveoli, which inflate during inhalation and deflate during exhalation. The alveoli serve as the site of respiration in the lungs, where exchange of gases occurs. The alveoli are surrounded by a network of tiny blood vessels called capillaries. The walls of the alveoli and the capillaries share a fused basement. As a result, when air enters the alveoli, oxygen in the air seeps through the thin walls of the tiny sacs into the neighboring capillaries. Internal respiration is defined as the exchange of gas at cellular level. During this process, oxygen is brought from the lungs to all other tissues of the body, while carbon dioxide is removed from the tissues back to the lungs as a waste product. As blood moves through the capillaries, it picks up oxygen and carries it to the cells throughout the body. At the same time, the blood picks up the carbon dioxide produced by the cells and returns it to the alveoli, where it is released from the body during exhalation. The body cells use the food they get from the blood and release energy only if they get enough oxygen. This energy-releasing process, fueled by oxygen, is called cellular respiration. In this process, oxygen combines with food into the cells to produce energy for the body and eliminate waste products, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. It is important to note that cellular respiration requires a continuous supply of oxygen in order to break down sugar from food and ultimately release energy. Plants, like humans and animals, need to breathe too. However, the exchange of gas is different. They take in carbon dioxide that other animals give off, and they give off oxygen for our use. In plants, the exchange of gases takes place in the stomata of leaves and in young stems. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.